welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an extraordinary journey as Pakistan sets its sights on the lunar surface. It's their first step on the moon. So buckle up as we take you on a cosmic adventure. Welcome to a new video of Think First. Did you know that the very first moon mission took off way back in 1950? As technology advances, the intricacy of these missions is likewise growing. Launching something on the moon is no easy feat. When the US and Soviet Union attempted this for the first time, they totally failed in the first 15 attempts. There are different ways in which landing on the moon could be successful. Some satellites only orbit the moon and take the necessary pictures of the surface of the moon, while some can directly crash on its surface to get necessary information, like Chandrayaan-1. Chandrayaan-1 was a mission focused on achieving a precise impact. The primary spacecraft maintained its orbit around the moon while a specific component was intentionally detached and directed to crash onto the lunar surface. During the duration of crash landing on the moon, numerous significant images can be captured. Chandrayaan-1 had an orbiter that was carrying out its own mission autonomously. When the moon impact probe made contact with the moon's surface, a portion of the lunar soil was propelled into the air. This was analyzed by a highly skilled orbiter equipped with a crucial instrument from NASA. Following a thorough analysis, it has been confirmed that water is present in the soil of the moon. Let's dig out how Pakistan manages to launch its first moon mission. So, launching the iCube moon satellite on a Long March 5 rocket was a watershed moment for Pakistan as it marked the beginning of its first lunar mission. Launched from Hainan's Wenchang Space Center at 5.27 p.m. Beijing time on May 3, 2024, the LM-5 is China's biggest rocket. China and Pakistan are working together on this moon mission, which is a huge step forward for Pakistan's space technology. With their voyage to the moon, Pakistan joins the ranks of the first 10 nations, or political unions, in history to accomplish this feat. The Institute of Space Technology, located in Islamabad, worked with China's Shanghai University and Pakistan's National Space Agency, Suparco, to construct the moon satellite, a seven kilogram CubeSat. The compact and uniformly cubic shape of CubeSats is what sets them apart. Who would have thought that the iCube moon satellite, usually reserved for experiments and research in low earth orbit, would be daring enough to venture into the deep space mission of exploring the far side of the moon. It's breaking new ground and proving that size doesn't matter when it comes to space exploration. The moon satellite is making strides towards a new level of efficiency in moon missions that hasn't been reached before. You must be wondering how iCube works while riding on Chinese rocket Chang's six lunar probe. Let's dig out some more facts. On the other side of the moon, is the South Pole Aitken Basin, the biggest impact crater in our solar system. And this is where the Chang-6 probe, which is carrying iCube, is scheduled to touch down. iCube will subsequently activate its two optical cameras and start capturing photographs of the lunar surface, as well as photographing both the Earth and Moon from this exceptionally distinctive angle. The lunar satellite is equipped with two cameras, one of which has a megapixel resolution specifically designed for missions that have limitations on power. Speaking of the camera capabilities, they're pretty much what you'd expect for missions like these. The cameras, along with every other equipment on board, have the ability to function in freezing temps. Crucial data on the positions of craters, water, and ice traces on the moon's surface will be transmitted via the satellite's surface level analytical capabilities in photos at one key BPs. Future lunar exploration and study will benefit from this discovery, which will increase our understanding of the moon's far side. You guys won't believe the incredible tech that the iCube satellite is packing. Not only does it have top-notch imaging sensors, but it's also equipped with some seriously impressive features that will totally help it thrive in the challenging lunar environment. This amazing machine has a mind-blowing three-axis attitude control system to keep it perfectly oriented. Plus, it's got an onboard computer for super speedy data processing and control. And let's not forget about the thermal control system that keeps it operating at peak performance. 
Oh, and did I mention it has telemetry and telecommand modules for out of this world communication with Earth through the Chinese deep space network? So futuristic. Pakistan's ground stations in Islamabad and Lahore are going to be receiving some seriously cool telemetry data and sending out commands for the operation of the satellite. How amazing is that? Can't wait to see all the incredible things this satellite is going to do. What are your thoughts on the potential outcome of this mission? Do let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for amazing videos.